The Panos Scordi Encounter. Hi, this is Panos here with Tiffany Tatsumi to discuss the new university earned credit system. Uh, Tiffany is an academic administrator with the Society of Actuaries. Uh, welcome, Tiffany. Thank you so much for having me, Panos. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, Tiffany, uh, about the new UEC system. And I'm very happy that you've actually uh, made the time to answer these questions. Um, let me kick off by asking you the first one, which is what is the UEC system? So UEC stands for University Earned Credit, and it is an SOA program that allows university students to earn credit for SOA exams through approved courses at Centers of Actuarial Excellence, or CAE, that have met the UEC requirements. So what is the idea behind the introduction of the UEC system? The UEC program empowers students with flexible choices and alternatives within the actuarial pathway. It's the first component of the SOA's modernized and modularized education system. Is it similar to other systems around the world, like the Institute of Faculty of Actuaries have a, a system which may be similar to this? Yeah, other actuarial organizations have been successfully running programs like this for decades. The SOA will be implementing rigorous program guidelines specific to the SOA and its education system. Okay, so will the UE system change the existing examination waiver system with other professional entities, uh, such as the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries? Uh, no, the implementation of the UEC program will not affect the existing waiver process for credit earned through approved actuarial organizations. So when will it actually be available for students to take examinations? UEC approved courses will begin at any approved CAE universities as early as the third quarter of 2022. So which examinations will it cover? So exam P is not eligible for UEC, uh, but exam FM and exam SRM will initially be available. A full list of eligible exams will be published once the details of the program have been finalized this summer. So is it possible that that may be expanded? It's possible. So additional exams for the UEC program may be added in the future, and then those will be announced um, as, they, as they come. Is it available to all schools? Only Centers of Actuarial Excellence, or CAE, may apply to offer university earned credit. Okay. Will UEC courses be the same as taking the professional examination in terms of material covered? UEC approved courses must have coverage of at least 85% of the related exams learning objectives. The final exams for the courses will also need to meet UEC requirements. So will the UEC courses be the same as taking the pro professional exams in terms of difficulty? So the UEC program will meet all the quality and rigor requirements that members expect of SOA exams. And in addition to this, students will need to meet a higher UEC score to earn exam credit. So this will be higher than the score for passing the course. Will coursework be included in the final grade when they take the class through the university? Yes, but there will be a required percentage of course grading points that must be from proctored exams and a required percentage from the final exams specifically. Will most of the grade come from a cumulative final examination? The final exam for the UEC course must be cumulative, so covering material from throughout the course and will be worth a minimum percentage of the grading points for that course. Will these examinations be set by the Society of Actuaries examiners or by individual university professors? Examinations will be set by university professors, but the final exam will be reviewed and approved by an external examiner. So these, ex these examinations will be scrutinized by the SOA? Yes, the external examiner will scrutinize course content and exams to ensure that they cover the exam syllabus and at the appropriate level. The external examiner will work closely with the university's accreditation actuary in reviewing coursework, syllabi, and exams. So the, the professors that teach on these courses, must they be qualified actuaries? University professors need not be actuaries to teach approved UEC courses. However, each UEC approved university must have an assigned accreditation actuary who is an SOA member actuary, so an ASA or an FSA. Will the UEC examinations cover the same material as the equivalent SOA examinations? 
Final exam for the UEC course must be cumulative, covering material from throughout the course, and will be worth a minimum percentage of the grading points for the course, as Ag mentioned previously. But the UEC course must also have coverage for at least 85% of the related exam's learning objectives with alternative material making up the difference. So will um, supervision be in place to ensure that the UEC examinations reach the required academic level of the Society of Actuary examinations? The UEC evaluation process is thorough and intensive with oversight from the CAE Evaluation Committee, the UEC Oversight Committee, and UEC external examiners. Further details are provided on the UEC FAQ page available on the SOA website. Will there be supervision to ensure parity between different universities? The external examiners will meet to coordinate and cal calibrate the evaluation of universities to ensure consistency. The mark required to earn exam credit will be consistently applied across universities. Will passing uh, the passing level be determined prior to the examination being taken or will there perhaps be quotas or curves enforced? No quotas or curves will be enforced. The UEC mark needed for credit will be determined in advance. What happens if you do not pass the UEC examination? So a student may retake courses according to their university's policies and may earn UEC credit on a second successful attempt. And of course, any student taking the UEC approved course still has the option to sit for a traditional exam. Would it be possible for a student to enroll in a university to take these UEC examinations, but not be a fully fledged mem member of the program? So only degree seeking students at an approved CAE university is eligible for UEC. So it's important that candidates receiving UEC have the benefit of the CAE related attributes of the degree program. Uh, transfer students who are degree seeking are eligible and also both full and part-time students who are degree seeking are eligible. If a student has taken an examination at university for say, for example, subject FM, but that university is yet to join the UEC system uh, will they be grandfathered into the UEC system? So the UEC program is not retroactive. So UEC approved courses will begin at any approved CAE universities in the third quarter of 2022. On passing the examination at the university, is there a process for attaining credit from the SOA? The UEC candidate application must be submitted to the SOA and the fee paid within two years of the end of the semester in which the last required course was completed to earn UEC credit with the SOA. If a student has um, passed the examination uh, at a university that is able to grant these, uh, these waivers, as it were, but they haven't actually applied for the waiver. They've taken the exam, they've passed it, they've re reached the, quite the required level. Um, are they able to mention that examination pass on a resume when they're applying for an internship? A student may certainly indicate that they anticipate UEC credit for the exam or exams for which they earned the minimum UEC score in the related UEC approved courses. So will there be a mechanism for employers to validate whether a student has passed the UEC examination, but has yet to apply for credit from the SOA. A process has not yet been determined, but the SOA will have records of this kind. So they may contact the SOA to request validation for forthcoming UEC credit. Thanks, Tiffany, for elucidating us on the new UEC system. Is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, just that a, a university earned credit or UEC program page and FAQ are available that provide additional details about the program. And these can be found on the SOA website at www.soa.org. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks, Tiffany. We're going to include Tiffany's contact details in the description, along with other uh, informative resources regarding the UEC system. This is your host, Panos Scordi, on the Panos Scordi Encounter. Take care wherever you are.